Good morning, good afternoon, evening family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your minister of soul, Khadija. Listen to me. I, you know, I really was going to go without trying to address this family, but I would be remiss if I didn't, and I will be taking advantage and looking up. Great opportunity to teach. Slip away. And um, I'm not going to do that. So there was a story that bothered me. And I might as well tell the truth and shame the devil. And it's about a uh, little fast little point guard that used to play for North Carolina. Ty Lawson. Okay. And um, this story... It's by uh, Jerry Harker, actually. But here's the deal. Ty Lawson was kicked off the Chinese basketball team after dance club photo. Okay? The China, now, you know, he played for the NBA. He played in Denver. He played uh, even in Houston for a minute. They didn't give him much playing time. Lawson is a very, very good guard, point guard. I think he's got somewhat, or he has somewhat, Allegedly, a drinking problem. I think that's all behind him. And it is really never don't seem like affected his ability to play the game. Okay. So, but nobody will pick him up because I think the personal problems that he's had in his life. So he went over there to China. Okay. And see, I know how we live. There's a culture that we have and there's a culture that we have. Um, that we think we that is acceptable to everybody, but it's really not because it's not even acceptable to some of us. So now this article says that the Chinese Basketball Association, Fuhan Sturgeons, announced on Saturday that it would not resign American point guard Ty Lawson due to his inappropriate comments that he posted on his Instagram. What were those Instagram comments, you may ask? Hmm. Well, according to the state news agency, the guard will be dropped for insulting Chinese women. You hear that? His inappropriate words are inconsistent with the social response. Listen to this good, uh, black people, because I, I think this is very important. Because y'all can go ahead and claim culture all you want to. But just as you want to claim culture, I want to claim ignorance. Because I have seen brothers. I have seen black men that are so disrespectful. That they want to talk to somebody standing at the bus stop. And they don't want to talk to them. And they'll say shit like, bitch, I'll make you dance. And pull out a pistol. This is the kind of shit I've witnessed. Okay, now, isolated incident, y'all might say, but who can argue me, with me when you see a, a a brother and he walking with a group of, of his friends or maybe even a couple of them, maybe just him by himself, and he say, hey, hey, baby, come here, come here. The fuck you mean come here? I ain't your dog. And what do you mean, come here? How do you, what do you get off telling me to come here? And why is that acceptable? Why is that? Or, you wanted to talk to me a few minutes ago. Now you don't want to, now I don't want to talk back to you. Now I'm a bitch. Okay? See, this is all um, filthy, degrade, This is unbecoming, unnormal behavior that we have normalized in the black community and we call it dating and courting and thinking this is how you're supposed to approach somebody. Well, everybody don't get down like that. And thank God that they don't. Because in, we have not been taught the art of mating. The only thing we know about mating is how the slave master mated us. Okay? And that's how we mate today. How he mated us. Like dogs. 
we lay down with whosoever will. You might get mad at this. Y'all ain't going to like this. And, you know, and it's all right. It's not because I come from a mother and a father that produced uh, 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 all their offspring. That I lived in a house with a man that was productive. Well, hell, most of the people in my generation did. We knew the value and we saw the value of a man leading in a proper direction. That don't mean that man is perfect, but that means he's leading in a proper direction as as best as humanly possible with his frayed, delicate infallibilities. But this stuff right here, this just openly and and most people don't most and especially and I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna put women in here but some of women either I'm gonna include them but there are a lot of majority of people now who have been dumbing down so much in the society or in, have the standards and the expectations have been so low that they don't think nothing is wrong with communicating to somebody this way. I don't. I wouldn't want nobody talking to me like that, and neither would I approach anybody like that. And because we've done it so long, and we run around calling each other bitches and hoes and lowdowns and motherfuckers and punks and niggas and all that for so long, we've lived outside of a norm. That when you go over somebody else's country with that bull, they send your ass home. You want to act like they did something wrong. I don't think they did anything wrong at all. I think we don't, we get mixed up what's private and what's public. Um, That is a sad commentary for a group of people. They can't distinguish what's private and what's public. We make fun of people that don't want to talk about their sex life as if that's not why they call it private parts. Then you want to know why you got all this sex and children being molested. They being exposed to this stuff at way too early of an age. And they've been taught at a bit disrespectful way. A lot of us have to work two and three jobs and we got cable and our kids at home watching porn. And we don't even know it. You think they're going to have a healthy approach about how to stand up and speak to somebody? So whether it's a male or a female, if you're not taught the appropriate way to deal with and how to approach the opposite sex, then you have stuff like this and people getting mad thinking that somebody mistreated this man because he wasn't raised to even know how to talk to people appropriately. And he think what is acceptable over here because it's not acceptable. And in some really some places in the black community, it's not acceptable, but they go along with it because they can't do nothing. We all bounce to here together. Middle class, low class, uh, 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 high class, all of us in terms of uh, uh, black people, unless we are super rich, we're all lumped in together. So my experiences growing up uh, are mixed in with a person who has no idea what discipline looks like. So my existence, maybe I have a father and a mother, and maybe my parents are college educated, Okay, and maybe they live in a decent neighborhood, but maybe right around the corner is Section 8. So somehow these children and, and the children are all having a chance to meet with one another. I know that fell off, so good morning, y'all. The bottom line is we don't take the best of people's culture. We seem like we like to worship the low down, the, 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 the low parts. Of ourselves. Everybody got sex. That's how we all got here. It's no big deal after all this time. But to lead your conversations with sex, 
So always making that the number one priority of how you doing stuff, even if that's what you want on the download. Knowing the difference and keeping it private where it should be, as opposed to out on the internet, makes a lot of difference. And that's why Ty, Ro Ty Lawson is kicked ass, kicked out of China. Now, Lawson responded saying, well, all right, I was told not to address this, but I don't know. I got to stick up for myself. Listen to him. I am probably the least racist guy that you have ever met in my life. I have fun with everybody. Cakes means that she has a nice body. That's it. Everybody talking about, oh, Ty, you racist. Oh, my God. Get him out of China. He's a nigger. I'm like, bruh. You taking it too far. Y'all wow. But I'm going to say at the same time, I meant no disrespect. All the racist and disrespect that is coming towards me is wow. Everyone knows me in China. They know that I'm not that person at all. And I, I believe you, baby. I believe you. I really do. It's just a matter of ignorance. Our ignorance being exposed all over the world. And that's how people see us, like not having a brain, but all we can do is use our ass. When you can't use your brain, you use your tail. You can't, the, 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 um, the head should not be ruled by the tail. It should not. This is the impression and the, um, yeah, the impression that we give out all over the world, that we sex freaks. It's all we do is shake our body, get on down, eat, 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 suck my this. And, and then guess what? Who's really acting like that? And who they making a fool of? And who they shooting down in the streets? And who they disrespect like they don't mean nothing? But they give you money to act like that. See, that's why show business never got my business. Because I can't deal with that type of mentality. I'm not a slave. And once you realize how our culture is being used, how we're taking the same behavior from slavery, and in the year 2020, don't see nothing wrong with it. He said, everybody that knows me knows that I'm not that person. I was literally saying that she got a nice body. He said, I, I, I danced at the club. But, uh, it wasn't a strip club. I wasn't at a strip club. I wasn't having sex with the women in the club and disrespecting her. I didn't do that. The Chinese Basketball Association announced on Thursday that starting next season, all clubs will be subject to a league-wide salary cap. The total for domestic Chinese players will be set at 44 million, which is 6.5 million, according to our money, with a floor of 20 million, which is 2.6 million. Clubs that break the limit will be forced to pay a 25% luxury tax for those of y'all who care. Um, but that wasn't the reason that they got rid of Ty Lawson. Because, you know, for those of y'all who are trying to say, you know, it was a contract issue. No, it wasn't. It's a culture issue. And it's really a culture issue within our, us, our culture. I have seen, I have seen young women that I have serviced and their mothers walking down the street with them. Their daughter may be 15 maybe 12, mama, maybe in her early 30s. And I've seen the grown men who should be trying to holler at the mother walking down the street, start hollering at the daughter. This is total dysfunction. And I'm going to say it. It's dysfunctional. And we got to clean it up. No grown... First of all, back in the day, old people like us, we used to call it, we used to hear it like this. Stop talking under your clothes. Stop talking under her clothes. Y'all know nothing about that because Big Mama gone. 
Big Mama gone now, and y'all raising yourselves like a pack of wolves. Have some respect for yourself and your seeds, and put them in the proper fertile fertile soil. The proper. What do I mean by? That's your job to find out. But you got to seek it. And it's certainly not what you see that's going around in, in our community. You have to seek out something different. Because this behavior is embarrassing. And to go over to China and be sent back but saying something that black women have been exposed to every damn day, whether they like it or not. You have somebody in another culture that tell you, you get the hell out of here with that. You don't come over here talking to our women like that. What's wrong with you? And y'all think he being done wrong. And I just had to say it. You, you, you can take it or you can leave it alone. And I'll be back with another video. I'll see you in the next one.